of indices. Remember, we are revising KCSC mathematics questions that have come in the past. So welcome to part two of indices. We go straight away to the first question. So for x in this equation here, so for x, it was carrying three marks uh, in year 2002, year 2002. So solution. Express all these four terms using a common base. Using a common base. Which is the common base? 3, 3, 3, 3. It will be what? So 8 to 1 is 3 raised to what? To 4. Then it is raised to 2x. Times 27 is 3 raised to what? 3 raised to 3. Then raised to what? x. Divide by 9 to base 3 is 3 squared and it is also raised to x. Good. We go to the other side. This would be equal to 729 is 3 raised to what? This is 3 raised to 6. After expressing all the terms using a common base, Apply the laws of indices. Multiply these powers, multiply these powers, multiply these powers. So you get 3 raised to what? 4 times 2x gives you 3 raised to 8x times 3 times x. This will be 3 raised to 3x. Divide by what? 3 raised to 2x. And therefore, this will be equals to 3 raised to 6. Good. Then, we now apply the first law of indices here. These are common bases, and you are multiplying them. What do you do to the powers? You add. Remember, you add if you are multiplying common bases. And therefore, this will be 3 raised to what? 8x plus 3x gives us 11 x 11x divide by 3 raised to 2x is equals to 3 raised to 6 yes then from there learn look at this side you are dividing common bases 3 raised to that divide by 3 raised to that you are dividing common bases according to the rules of indices remember what you do you subtract the powers if you are dividing uh, using common basis, uh, subtract the powers. So this will be 3, 11x minus 2x gives us 9x is equals to what? 3 raised to 6. Yes, we have seen this in the past. You have common basis uh, on both sides of the equal to sign. So you equate the powers. So 9x is equals to 6. So divide by 9, divide by 9. So that goes. So x is equals to 6 over 9. Then you simplify it by 3, 2, by 3, 3. And therefore, our x is equals to 2 over 3. Our x is equals to 2 over 3. Good. Let us go to number 2. Number 2. Simplify this. 243 raised to negative 2 over 5 times 125 raised to 2 over 3 divided by 9 raised to negative 3 over 2. So what is the solution? Take one term at a time. Like now, take 243 raised to negative 2 over 5. This number is raised to a negative power. Remember the rules of indices, Lana? We said that any number raised to a negative power is the same as what? 1 over the number, but now raised to a positive power. Remember that. Any number raised to a negative power is the same as 
1 over the number, but now raised to a positive power. So from here, you say this is 1 over, we dare to this. This means fifth root of 243 squared. So fifth root, fifth root of 243 and then you square. Fifth root of 243 and then you square. So this would give us what? This gives us what? This gives us, I think I can write here, this gives us 1 over, fifth root of 243 is 3. Fifth root of 243 is 3 squared. And so this is 1 over 9. We go to the next term. 125 raised to 2 over 3. Lana, I hope you are remembering our laws. This means what? Cube root. Cube root of 125. Cube root of 125. And then you do what? You square. Cube root of 125, you square. Cube root of 125 is 5 squared. You square. This gives you 20. Five. We go to the denominator. 9 raised to negative 3 over 2 is the same as what? Just like the first one, this number is raised to a negative power. Remember, if a number is raised to a negative power, you write 1 over the number, but now raised to a positive power. So there we have 3 over 2. So this means what? 1 over 2 here means square root of 9. You find the square root of 9 and then you cube. You cube. So this gives us 1 over square root of 9 is 3 and therefore 3 raised to 3. 3 raised to 3 is what? So this will be 1 over 27. 1 over 27. From there, Lana, come and substitute the very, this one, this one, and this one in the very first uh, uh, fraction there. Uh, substitute there. So we can go to this end. You come and substitute. The first one is 1 over 9 times. The second one is 25 divided by... The last one, the denominator, which is 1 over 27. So this gives us what? We can multiply this by this to get 25 over 9. Then you divide by 1 over 27. Okay? Then work out this. Means, this means you multiply with the reciprocal. There. So by 9, 1. By 9, 3. So 25 times 3 gives us 75 and that is the answer so Lana that is to do with the indices so I hope you have understood the concepts all the best